Welcome guys, today in this video we will be looking at Honey Badger, it is a very underrated weapon in this game, but what if I tell you it's the most powerful weapon in the 7.62 assault rifles category, apart from Groza, wondering how, well let's dive into the weapon details, such as damage, recoil, rate of fire and more. One key aspect I've noticed is hip fire accuracy, Honey Badger literally has the best hip fire I have ever seen in any rifle. The hip fire feels like laser sprays, but more about it later in the video, let's start with damage information. Honey Badger has the lowest damage when compared next to AKM, Barrel and Ace 32, but don't let this low damage fool you, it can make up for this low damage output by shooting significantly faster. So in the rate of fire comparison Honey Badger has the fastest firing speed in the 7.62 rifle family apart from the Groza, it can fire 16% faster than AKM and 10% faster than Barrel M762 and Ace 32. Honey Badger completely recovers its low damage by shooting faster, this should even out and balance its overall damage output, which takes us to the damage per second also known as DPS, this tells us exactly how powerful the weapon is in terms of damage it can do within a second. Here's where the Honey Badger really stands out it has a DPS of 497, surpassing both the Barrel and Ace 32, which are at 486 DPS, and the AKM at 480 DPS. Remember in terms of weaponry, a higher DPS often translates to a more dominant gun. So despite initial impressions the Honey Badger is actually a really strong weapon in the 7.62 rifle group. And also the reloading speed for Honey Badger is significantly faster than its competitors. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Honey Badger reloads in 2.2 seconds, this is without using any sort of extended mags. I personally like the reloading sound of Honey Badger, it's very satisfying to reload the weapon. Now let's talk about the recoil, the most critical aspect of any weapon is understanding and managing its recoil, and this is where the Honey Badger truly impresses. Every time I use it I'm amazed by its recoil control, which arguably is among the best in the game. If we examine the recoil pattern graph, you can see that vertical recoil matches up to AKM or higher, but the horizontal recoil is literally non-existent or very low as compared to others, even next to the M416, this minimal horizontal recoil is a significant advantage for the Honey Badger, you're mostly dealing with vertical movement, meaning the gun consistently moves upwards with each shot. This predictable pattern makes it much easier to control than the weapons which exhibit more shaking and swaying horizontally, spraying with Honey Badger will be accurate and stable if you master its recoil pattern. Now the hip firing, as I mentioned Honey Badger, has the best hip fire in any rifle, but there is no perfect way to measure or compare hip fire with other weapons, so this is purely based on my experience. I have used AKM, Barrel and many other assault rifles, and their hip firing performance can be hit or miss, with shots connecting unpredictably. Especially with AKM, it has the worst hip firing I think, your luck also plays a major role in this, but with Honey Badger, I feel like its hip fire is more accurate and more consistent as compared to other assault rifles. In close combat fights when in a tight spot, the Honey Badger seems to perform like a laser spray, with a higher likelihood of shots connecting to the target. This may be because of its low horizontal spread which we have seen in the recoil pattern, and this is having a huge impact on its hip fire accuracy, making it an exceptionally reliable choice in close combat scenarios. The bullet velocity is one of the downsides for Honey Badger however all the 7.62 assault rifles have the same problem they all have a very similar bullet velocity it's not too low or too high, it's just in between. And Honey Badger has 700 meters per second bullet velocity, it's a bit lower than AKM but it doesn't have any huge impacts on its performance, you still can't spray at long ranges because the recoil is hard to control and bullets will travel slower. Unlike the 5.56 assault rifles they have around 900 meters per second bullet velocity which is idle for long range spraying, all 7.62 assault rifles even the Honey Badger are only good up to mid range sprays, after that it's hard to control their recoil. Even hitting a stable target at long range will be difficult with Honey Badger due to slower bullet speed. So this means you cannot spray a moving vehicle with Honey Badger, like how you would with an M416 or other 5.56 weapons, but it doesn't mean you can't, you can still fire at a moving vehicle, however, your shots may not connect. Now let's talk about the attachments for Honey Badger, so there's only one type of recoil reduction attachment you can use which are muzzle attachment, the compensator offers the most recoil reduction. 
But even without any attachment, Honey Badger performs surprisingly well, and a red dot or a holographic sight is a must-have, running with no scope kinda sucks, and you may need to carry an extended mag, because this gun runs out of bullets real quick as it can shoot faster. So to sum up in final conclusion on Honey Badger, the first major point is close combat superiority. The Honey Badger shines in close combat situations, potentially outperforming many other assault rifles, due to its high rate of fire. Second is the hip fire accuracy, Honey Badger features the best in class hip fire with high level accuracy and stability during hip firing, and combined with quick reloading, makes it a reliable choice during continuous gunfights, keeping you always ready for action. And lastly personal preference. I would choose Honey Badger over AKM, Barrel or even Ace 32, because in terms of numbers, it is powerful, it does have low damage per shot, but by shooting faster, it balances out and evens its overall damage. And I really like the reloading sound of Honey Badger. In summary the Honey Badger stands out as a powerful and versatile weapon in PUBG Mobile, particularly effective in close to mid-range engagements. Its combination of high rate of fire, manageable recoil, and quick reload time, along with the right attachments, makes it a top choice for many players seeking an edge in fast-paced combat situations. If you have any more questions about Honey Badger, comment down below or join my Discord server where I might reply to your questions over there. And also you will find hundreds of layout controls and settings, from two-finger to six-finger claw, so you can look at their layouts to create your own custom controls. And you could also post your controls and settings here, so it might help other players like you, so join my Discord server, link is in description, and also in the pinned comment. Anyway that's all I got for this video, if you learned something new hit the like button, and subscribe for more upcoming videos like these, enjoy my bot gameplay, see you guys in the next one.